last week, this week, and I would really like just to take a minute to have a moment of silence for the hurricane victims that we have and that we'll have from the second storm. So let's just uh, bow our heads and pray for the safety and lives of the ones that have been impacted. So, I am bringing you this video because hubby, Shane DLT Lawn Care, he's done a series of videos this week. Uh, he's been talking about the mistakes he made in business. And it got me thinking about mine. So, Messiah School was 12 months, January through December of 2015. I graduated January of 2016, and I got my license in March of 2016. So for 15 months, I kept hearing about how much money I would make, and it was about 25 to 30 grand. And people may say that's not a lot, but being blind and not really having job opportunities, that's a lot. So I heard that, and then they were telling me that people would want massage, people would flock to you, and I believed it because throughout my life, everyone was like, oh, I want a massage. Massages are great. They're wonderful. So I was thinking, I'm going to be swamped and I'm going to have all this work and I'm going to make all this money. Well, The biggest mistake I made in my massage therapy business was my unrealistic expectations and ideas of how busy I was going to be and how much money I was going to make. Because let's face it, bottom line, people want massage and they think it's great until they hear the price. And then they don't want to pay it. Then they're like, well, how much does a massage last for? A month, two months? And when you tell them, well, you might want to come back every week because your, your job is stressful. They don't want to pay it. So when I got my license, then I got insured. And that's two out of three things in the state of Ohio you must have to massage. And uh, so I got those things and I started making phone calls to people I thought would want a massage. And of course they were interested. I told you told them the price because I am a licensed massage therapist. So my prices here in Columbus, Ohio are in the middle. I'm not the cheapest and I'm not the most expensive. But people still didn't want to pay for me. So after three to four weeks after I was insured, I got my first buy -in. And uh, They came with the stipulation of the gimmick of my business. So I started buy one, get one free massages to get people in the door because no one wanted to come. 
Well, I finally got a couple people in the door, and then it just stopped. And the most business I ever had in my eight and a half years that I got this going on is six clients a month. And that was before COVID. Six a month. And uh, so it's really slow all the time. I now have to charge full price every single time because of inflation. So that means more people don't want to come. So my ideas of having a busy business, because massage therapy full time is only 15 hours a week. I don't even do that in six months. So my expectations of a busy business is not real. It isn't real. And that's the mistake I made going into this business thinking, oh, I'm going to be swamped because everyone wants a massage, but no one wants to pay for it. But that's not where my mistake ended. When people did call for a massage, I got so excited that I fumbled on the phone to get them here. And if they did come, I fumbled through the paperwork. I physically stumbled into my room. And for the first five to seven minutes of the massage, it was rushed and very unsmooth until I realized I'm working and I got to do my thing. So I turned it on. I ended up giving really great massages. But my idea of a busy business never happened because people don't want to pay for it. And there's a really hard way to get people in your door. It's very hard to obtain clients because no business wanted to put out your business cards. And I called many places, gyms, independent physical therapists. No one put business cards out for their business policies. So I couldn't get people in the door. And when I did, the mistake of a busy business made me fumble to retain my clients. So my biggest mistake, of course, was thinking this was going to be such a insanely busy and profitable business, which it is not. So that's my story. I hope you guys really take in consideration when you start whatever business. Make sure you do your research yourself and understand that things may take time to build. And I leave you with God bless you. Please think of all the hurricane victims and always remember, no sight, no problem.